The Linux Foundation's OPNFE project continues to provide support to CSPs through its verification work and also its key role in the CNTT group. As Heather Kirksey, VP of Community and Ecosystem Development, explains. At ONS uh, North America, so just about six months ago, sort of announced that there was an intention to do it. Um, in about July, we uh, formed the partnership between GSMA and Linux Foundation, and now we actually have the first release of the initial set of documents. So a first reference model and a first reference architecture. CNTT is really looking to bring a little bit more consensus and uniformity to the um, infrastructure uh, layer of the, you know, the NFV stack. Um, you know, what we found is that for VNF developers, it's very difficult for them to you know, write generalized VNFs, and then it's difficult for operators to have a lot of fast time to market because the VNFs vary so much and have to be coded directly for them. So uh, this is an initiative that's operator-led, but open to the entire community to get some more uniformity across how uh, NFE and NFEI is being deployed uh, within operations for the service providers. If you're going to have to spend a lot of custom time with every single VNF, within every single operator, you know, you're just not going to get the time to market that was the initial promise of NFE. So uh, compliance and verification and interoperability are all very important things. And uh, you know, we've been working on this for a while. Um, you know, we, ha we had an announcement about some uh, VNF compliance uh, at the last ONS. Towards the end of this year, we hope to have an initial version of onboarding. So actually using a VNF in real systems to onboard and instantiate a VNF. Uh, that is expected to come out later this year. And then obviously CNTT from the infra perspective gives us a lot more focus in terms of what we want to test our VNFs against. And it uh, really should help accelerate time to market, reduce effort and um, improve uh, revenue. After sort of a lot of our initial successes in terms of what we did with OpenStack and CICD and initial test frameworks, um, you know, there was a little bit of what problem are we trying to solve? And now we've had heard very loudly from the operators that there are problems that they need to solve and the OPO and FE has a crucial role in doing that. And so it's, you know, sort of really exciting to see. It's like we've moved through an awkward adolescent phase, you know, and moving into a lot of value creation based directly on operator input and operator needs. I think it's very important for service providers in order to continue with providing a modern network for modern application needs and you know 5G expectations to sort of just understand that pace of change is different now, uh, which requires cultural shifts and technology shifts. Um, but it also makes things fun and interesting, right? You've got innovation. You know, when we just when we started NFE, a lot of the folks who started it were veterans, you know, in the in the industry. You know, and a lot of them were like, this is the most fun we've had in ages. Um, and so I think there's a mind, sh mind shift to say these new things are opportunities. They're not scary things that we have to, to deal with. Um, and it enables us to you know, reach more markets, bring new services that people haven't even thought about, and actually you know, really impact the way that you know, a next generation is going to interact with connectivity. Like most journeys, they begin with a small step. Um, but you know, sort of maybe pick something to start doing, you know, maybe start introducing automated testing in, in your own labs, then start, you know, don't have to go to production environment, start just iterating slowly based on maybe upstream master branch from open source or start asking your vendors to start releasing to you more often and start practicing it in a lab, you know, pick sort of maybe one application that you can start that and start integrating automation in your own processes there and then you know figure out what you know what you don't know and and, and grow everything's moving so quickly it can be hard for a tier two whereas if you're in the open source community people are very open to answering questions very helpful it's actually a way to accelerate your own learning by participating. Serving sort of the, the user needs, I mean, the networks are going to continue to advance. The desires of the application and services are going to continue to advance. So the community, I think, will continue to be there. Also, I think that there is just a hunger for the type of collaboration that open source brings that a lot of developers, once they experience open source, don't want to go back into their siloed walls anymore.